Welcome everyone. Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you and today's topic is kind of controversial and I want to get into it and kind of give you the feelings that I have on this that I've kind of developed over time and yes they've changed a little bit with just more use implementation knowledge and just seeing more over time and all the experiences I've seen throughout. Um, and the topic that I wanna to talk to you about is pro-hormones and specifically the dangers of pro-hormones. Now I know in the past there's been a, some that I've advocated and I've liked, and there are a few good ones out there, and I still stand by that, but there's so many that are not. There's so many made wrong, there's so many made poorly, there's so many made that are just really more side effect filled than anything, and I think more or less just garbage in general. Um, but I want to explain to you what kind of what they are, what to expect from them, what you're going to get from them, and then you know I can kind of get into why I just don't really care for them in general, which is basically explained through side effects alone. I don't really need to go any more detail than explaining the side effects to make you understand why I probably don't like them, but I still will touch on that for you. So anyway, what 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 exactly is a pro hormone? Because I you know a lot of people will always say pro hormone this that, and I don't even think they really know what they're talking about. It's not technically a hormone. It's, a, it's really just a unique chemical compound that really amplifies the effects of existing hormones within the body. Almost like a releaser, so to speak. Not really, but kind of. So um, all the hormones in your body have a corresponding pro-hormone. There's testosterone poor hormones, for example, which is probably the type of pro-hormone you're looking for, you know, if you're, if you're following along with this. So our bodies produce pro-hormones on their own naturally including pro-insulin, okay? So interestingly enough, pro-hormones are gonna have minimal hormonal effects on their own. Then that leads us to pro-hormones kind of versus regular general anabolics. Really, pro-hormones are just a weaker form of anabolics. The main difference there is that anabolic steroids are almost always illegal and pro-hormones are not always illegal, but any more of these days they pretty much are because most of them are pretty much banned. There's always companies trying to come out with something new, but they just keep getting worse, weaker, more side effect filled. It just, it, it went from a market that was actually decent at one point in time to just being complete and utter garbage. All of the, the regulatory groups across the world have really cracked down and banned a lot of pro-hormone manufacturing. If you actually find one that you like, you better stock up on it because I don't like the, the likelihood of being able to find them for a, you know, an extended period of time. Instead of giving yourself regular anabolics, the pro-hormone line was created obviously for legality purposes and to give people their options besides injecting uh, anabolics and and an alternative to other you know, oral steroids that you don't wanna buy on the black market. So instead of actually in injecting yourself with raw testosterone, you're gonna give your body that precursor uh, to testosterone and let it produce testosterone on its own. That's what a pro-hormone does. In 2004 is when uh, George Bush actually signed the Anabolic Steroid Control Act, and that made you know anabolics and pro-hormones illegal overnight, then things Loopholes are here, they're everywhere, but it actually started in 2004. Then the FDA regulation increased, and then the supplement manufacturers just kind of freaked out. When America bans a substance, then a lot of other countries will tend to follow suit. So Canada, Australia, New Zealand, all of them, they all started to crack down um, on pro-hormones. Now, ultimately, pro-hormones are a weaker and less effective form of anabolic steroids, like I said. If you've got an option for either one, it's pretty much a no-brainer. I can't find the reasoning on why you would go with the pro-hormone over uh, you know, an anabolic. So what, what are some benefits that go with pro-hormones? Because they're not all just bad in general because they were good at one time. What, what could they really do for you? Well, they did a lot of the same characteristics as, as anabolics, increased muscle mass, improve your physical appearance, mass increases in strength and endurance depending on what you're taking. It can improve your sex drive in some certain circumstances. You can have just an overall better recovery and better performance. But then comes in the side effects, which are horrid. The toxicity alone on and um, pro-hormones is horrible. I, I swear to you that the pro-hormone toxicity is worse than regular oral steroids, which is already bad enough. 
it's going to range from anywhere from acne, hypertension, swollen prostate, liver damage, breast enlargement, hair loss, headache, dizziness, nausea. I mean, just terrible, like I said, terrible, terrible amounts of methylation and toxicity. Um, they are extremely hepatoxic. You can only run them for on the upward of six weeks, uh, four to six weeks at the most, and you end up feeling terrible by the time you're done. I mean, just terrible, not wanting to get out of bed, headaches, lethargic, um, that's all due to the strain on the liver, increases in blood pressure, problems with kidneys. You go take a, a blood panel after you run a, a cycle of pro-hormones and, and see how it looks coming back, even with cycle support. And then talk to me because it's not going to be good and it's not going to be anything that you like. You're going to need a full post-cycle therapy with it. It's just like running a steroid in terms of suppression. It will shut you down. There's so many problems with them and it's just not worth it. I can't, I can't place it to how it's worth it to run a pro-hormone. There were a few, like I said, that were good, and you might still be able to find them, but they're few and far between. And even the ones that were good are still gonna eat up your panels. It's not the best idea. If you're gonna do anything, just get a regular oral anabolic. It's really what would make sense. I would avoid pro-hormones with, you know, with the exception of a few if you can still get them, like I said. But even then, the toxicity and everything, I'm not gonna recommend them. Not now, not at this point in time. Not to what they've become. Uh, from where they came. It, like I said, there's a few if you could find them, sure. Uh, I'd still say, yeah, go for it because they still have some, some good benefits, but they still will wreck your panel. Trust me, they're still gonna wreck your panel. That, that's really pro-hormones for you to give you that understanding. Like I said, I, I personally, if you're asking me, I'd say no, just avoid them, there's no point, but um, that's, that's always up to you to decide. I'm only here to guide and advise. That's it, give you the facts. And these are the facts, these are the flat facts. Doesn't matter if I like it or love it, I'm still giving you the facts. And then I'll tell you how I feel about it. And that's how I feel. So that being said, stay tuned for plenty more videos to come. Dylan Jamelli, signing off.